back to riding along again. How's everybody doing on this? Well, it's a rainy, kind of miserable morning in New Jersey. It is uh, 8 17 in the morning, and it is 51 degrees outside. It's not bad outside the temperature, but it's been off and on rain all morning. So, yesterday, as you know, I'm sure you guys had a chance to watch all my videos from yesterday. I did not post up all the videos yet. As a matter of fact, some of the videos are in members only. So if any of you guys would prefer to join Riding Along with Dan as a member, I would really appreciate it. That actually gives you access to uh, up and coming brand new videos that only members can see. So if you want to join, that's totally up to you. So uh, you can go ahead and do that if you want. And also to let you know, uh, I have one of my new t-shirts ready and available. I want to post that up so you guys can see what it looks like. And also, uh, I took a lot of photos yesterday. So I hope you guys got a chance to check it out. Uh, on my uh, YouTube channel, a lot of photos, a lot of videos. Yesterday was a really cool day. Had a great time, man. Really good time. So yesterday was a really good day. Had a really good time yesterday. I'm kind of getting used to uh, taking off every Wednesday. It's nice to get up, you know, late in the morning and not at 3 a.m. in the morning. But I'm sorry to say, yesterday was my last uh, vacation day that I had to use up from last year. So I'm done with that. But I will have to tell you that next Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I am not going to be here. I am taking off for a little family getaway. So I will be bringing the GoPro and my camera with me and take some pictures to uh, show you where I'm at and what's going on. But like I said before, any of you guys that are interested in becoming a private member to Riding Along With Dan, uh, you'll be get to see all the videos, all the pictures, and everything firsthand when you become a member of Riding Along With Dan. So, uh, something new, a new feature that uh, Google uh, was given all the uh, creators. So, if you guys want to be part of that, you're more than welcome to. I'm still going to post some other videos that are not private, that are not set up for members only. But, you know, I'm channel is here we'll always be here things are going good got a lot of videos got a lot to do and i'll always be doing something so you know i'll be around for a long time but uh yeah go check out all the videos and go check out all the pictures from yesterday yesterday was really really cool I had a great time saw a lot learned a lot and uh, it's a very interesting place to see how from when the garbage gets dumped on the floor to how it gets into the rail can very, very unbelievable.
older lady that lives here. She uh, used to work for Mealy Sanitation and she always gives me the wave. So now traffic was a little crazy on the way in here. So now I gotta go back. I gotta make sure I pick up the high school. I don't want to forget about that. And they will be calling. So as you know, IWS have a lot of locations. I basically just took you to, you know, the Closter Yard, went to Newark Yard yesterday, and then we went to the other day to the Carney Rail Yard. The next location, I'm not sure where it is or where I'm going, but I know I want to pretty much visit a couple of more that are based in New Jersey and Maybe bring up the idea of having me go to Ohio to take some pictures out there for the landfill and just check that operation out, see what it's all about. I would really love to see that. I think that would be cool. But we'll see what happens, see what goes on in the coming year. You never know. They might like my idea of having a photographer go out there take some nice pictures and send them to Abby. checked out the videos I learned a lot I saw a lot and uh, it was a great day out I enjoy going there I like to see the other side of the operations it's something I don't usually you know get to see and see how it all comes together and I was pretty lucky yesterday with the weather it looked like rain in the morning but it held off pretty much all day gave me the opportunity to go out there Take some very good videos and also some great pictures. It was nice, it really was. Got to talk to a lot of people and got to see a lot of garbage trucks coming in from different companies. Took some great pictures from uh, for these other companies. It was nice. Nice to see different companies. I had some pictures of uh, our trucks coming in. But I also did go, I, I posted some other videos this morning, they're probably not up yet, but I did go back to Jersey City to take some more photos, because the last time I was there I didn't really get a good shot of the Yankee truck. I know that's everybody's favorite. What they need to get is a New York Mets truck, that's what they need to get. Then I'll be taking all their pictures. <laughs> That would be nice, right?
shout out to all you guys that have subscribed to my channel. I very much appreciate it and thank you so much for doing that. I will always bring you great material, great videos, great pictures of the industry that I work in. I know there's a lot of other great channels on YouTube that I even watch myself. They give you a lot of great insight to the, to the workings of a, a garbage man and a driver and what's involved in the daily routines. So it's very important for me to give you guys an insight to what we do and how it's done and the safety issues uh, involved in our daily job. Because before YouTube, really, really, there was really no videos out there that somebody could just jump on social media and see what life of a front loader driver or garbage truck driver is all about and what's involved in their job and their daily routine. A lot of people don't know this. A lot of people don't know how hard we work and what's involved in pushing containers and pulling containers and, uh, you know, dumping out the trash cans and how we do it and how we drive the truck and what's in the truck and what safety features we have. People don't know this. They don't know. They just don't know. But ever since YouTube came along uh, and Instagram, of course, it's uh, really a blessing in disguise because it gives people a pretty detailed insight to what we do on a daily basis and how we do it. And driving one of these trucks is really no easy task at all. You know, you're, you're in tight situations like here, right here now, for instance, I'm in the parking lot. You know, now I gotta watch on my left side when I make that swing that the tail doesn't catch a car. I gotta watch on my right side and in front. So this is where taking your time and thinking about what you're doing comes into play. It's very important when you're driving a big truck. Very, very important. You cannot rush. When you rush, you make mistakes. That's the problem. So YouTube and Instagram and all them other platforms really give you uh, a detailed video like what I post on a daily basis, the workings of a garbage man and how we do our job on a daily basis. That's why I love doing the YouTube channel because it gives anybody out there in the YouTube world the opportunity to see how it's done. When we pick up your garbage at the curb, where it goes, where it ends up. And people don't realize what's involved in that process. There's a lot involved, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of work, there's a lot of machinery, there's a lot of trains, there's a lot of, a lot of everything involved in making this process work from your front door to the landfill. Very interesting how we do it, what's involved in doing it, the people that are involved. It's amazing, it's an amazing operation. You're recycling. That goes to our recycling plants in Brooklyn and all over where we pick up your paper, where it goes to one of our facilities and it gets bailed up and it gets recycled and it gets maybe shipped overseas. Maybe it stays in the United States. I don't know, but we are big in recycling. We are big in our commitment to a clean environment. IWS are doing the right thing every day by really, really getting involved and getting down and dirty and making sure that we do a great job for our customers because our customers are number one. And like me, when I do my route, I am dedicated to what I do. I love what I do. My motto is, and people laugh at me, but it's true, my motto is, no can left behind. If I got a hundred stops on my route, I'm going to do them hundred stops.
doing my best. My goal uh, while driving for IWS is to have no complaints from any customer whatsoever. My goal is to make sure I pick up every stop that's supposed to go on a daily basis. And number two, take care of my truck as far as uh, checking the air of my tires, cleaning out the body, making sure everything is good, doing my DV DVR every day, and uh, just letting the mechanics know uh, what the problems are, if there are any issues at all. And just a daily checking up I do on my truck to make sure that everything is working fine and I have no issues. It's very important to keep an eye on your truck because we're out here 10 to 12 hours a day getting the garbage. So for me who take my job seriously and when I drive this truck and get behind the wheel of this truck I take that very seriously because it's a big truck, it holds a lot of weight, and it doesn't stop on a dime like a car would. So you gotta be prepared, you gotta know how to drive it, you gotta be responsible. You gotta, you gotta do the right thing day in and day out because not only are you representing yourself, you're also representing the company that you drive for, IWS, or no matter what company you drive for. You're like a big uh, billboard going down the road. Everybody sees the name on the side of the truck, IWS. And, you know, you don't want anybody calling up that this guy is dangerous, he's reckless, he's driving like a lunatic. You don't want that. You want to do your job and do it right and do it safe and do it the best way you know how. There's no need to rush. The job will get done. It's garbage. It's not going anywhere. Just do it at a steady pace. Just be careful out there. When you're backing up, always check twice. Very important to be safe. That's my number one thing for me personally, is to be safe. saying my dad drove tractor trailers all his life he was a very very good driver a very safe driver and a very responsible driver my brother my older brother drives tractor trailers it's the same with him no matter what he does it's always to the best of his ability he's always safe and always uh, does the right thing you got to man you you have to you're a professional, professional CDL truck driver. You gotta, you gotta do the right thing day in and day out, no matter what. All right, I gotta get out again and uh, put the can back. I'll be right back, guys.
Make sure nothing's coming and back out slow. Sound your horn. Always sound your horn. Let people know what you're doing and where you're going. And uh, I will see you later. Be good, be careful, and be safe out there, guys. All right, later.